Hi, I'm back. And this time I am focusing on my favorite budget friendly wigs for 2018. Um, I'm going to not really review, but I'm just going to showcase the wigs that I felt were my favorite from this past last past year. And I will tell you that none of these wigs were over $40. I think this Lena was the most expensive at maybe 30 and change or maybe $35. I'm not too sure. But um, I think the least amount of money that I spent was $20. I'm a fan of budget wigs simply because not every woman has the funding to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on one wig. If you have a good selection of pricier wigs, and by pricier, I mean the bridge wigs from like maybe 150 up to $300. If you have a mix of those wigs, and if you have a mix of budget wigs, I think you get a very, very versatile group of wigs and you get a very versatile collection. But enough, enough about that. Let's just go into the wigs that I found were the best budget wigs of 19, of 2018. I'm showing my age. Anyway, this cutie is Lena, L-Y-N-A or Lina. I just call her Lena. Um, she's by Bobby Boss. She is a great bob. I love the thickness. She's also a center part bob. A lot of people do not like center part bobs. I'm preferring the side part, but you know what? For a change, I think this is a great wig. She's incredibly affordable. Now, there are two Lena bob wigs like this. One is Lena Sleek, and I do have her, but she wasn't my favorite simply because the fibers were too close to my head and I got a big head. So the fact that this hair is a lot thicker lends itself better to a larger head. The parting space on this is crazy good. All I had to do was just fill it in with powder. Um, I cut the lace off and that's the one thing about the budget wigs or the budget friendly wigs. You will have to cut the lace. And cutting the lace takes no more than a minute once you are used to it. I remember the first time I had to cut lace, I was like getting the vapors. I was so nervous. It's like the first time I changed pierced ears. I was 16 years old. And the first time I changed my earrings, I broke out in a cold sweat. That's how I felt the first time that I cut lace off. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to mess this wig. I can't do this. I can't do this. There was so much drama. And then I was done. And now it's just like, okay, snip, 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 snip. But anyway, I'm rambling. This wig, I have to go look at the box to see what shade she is. But I like this ombre color. It's not really rooted, but it kind of reminds me of the way a lot of girls had their hair in high school when they were letting it grow out from the summer when they used summer blonde. Um, I like it. She's a blunt cut. And for the money, I think she's great. Hold on, and I'm going to be back with another one. Here we are in one of my all-time favorite wigs. This is including both the budget and bridge wigs. This is Swami and Swami is from Free Trust Equal. <sighs> this long bob is fantastic and she's extra fantastic if you have had really thick bio hair. Um, my bio hair was very, very thick at one point and this wig actually mimics what my bio hair was like when it was blown out on a very dry day in the middle of winter because I would be able to go out in cold and in the dryness and nothing would frizz. She would just be a perfect, perfect, straight, long bob.
job. And that usually doesn't happen in real life to me. Um, I have, I'm not kidding you, I have five swamis in various shades. This is um, TB, hold on a second. This is T.S. Mocha, T.S. Mocha, or at least that's what it says on, on the box, the package. So let's pretend it's T.S. Mocha. Again, the rooting space is somewhat ombre, and I kind of like that. Um, here's the parting space. The parting space is excellent. I did fill it in with powder. Now, since this is a quickie, and I am just putting these on for um, video showcasing. I do use a spot of got to be glued right here so that you can, and I cover it with concealer so that you can't see the mark of demarcation. Um, I'm not gonna lie with budget wigs, you have to work more at, to manipulate them because let's face it, um, as good as they are, there are some things that are lacking, and I would say that is where you have um, a bridge brand or a more expensive wig. You're not going to see that part of that, that line of demarcation simply because the lace is pre-cut, it's laser cut, and there's just a lot of different factors that go into making the wig. But for a budget wig, if all you have to do is just put a little spot of hair glue or got to be glued or it stays, it's worth it. Because look, this wig that I have here on now on my head is almost a year old and she's lasted very well through a lot of wearings. The length is great. I have worn her in the winter with heavy sweaters and at the end of the day, all I have had to do was just comb with a wide tooth comb, the slight tangling that she's gotten. But one thing that I will say about budget wigs that I wish um, more expensive wig brands would do, there's always combs to keep the wigs more secure. Now, Swami has a comb in the back and a comb on each side, which is the norm for most of these budget wigs. Now, Swami, was hard to find for a while. It looks like she's back on the major wig sites. Um, I would say that when I say major wig sites, I mean um, major African-American wig sites like Glamour Tress, um, Diva Tress, like a lot of hair, hair so fly shop. Um, that's where you'll get most of your budget wigs. And for what it's worth, they're very well made. This is an excellent wig. She's nice and dense. You are not going to see any wefting at all. Um, she lasts long with a little bit of care. You don't have to worry about this hair. So this is Swami. On to the next. Okay, next in line is China. China is another Bobby Boss longer bob. I don't know what it is with me and these Bobby Boss long bobs. But this is a very silky Bobby Boss wig. It's like a silky yakky texture. It isn't as thick as say Lina or Lena is. Um, it's thick, but it's not as thick. And the texture is more silky, making it more user-friendly to um, a various diverse group of women. Um, she's got a deep side part. I did trim a couple of baby hairs, um, but it doesn't matter. I think she's a beautiful, beautiful wig. This color is T, this color is TT4 Choco, C-H-O-C-O. -O. So it's more like a chocolate brown with some shades of reddish, like golden reds. I like this color. It's not my favorite color, but I like it enough that the style of this wig has made this a favorite for 2018. 
you can't go wrong with a long bob. And as far as the length goes, I think this is a very good length for the mature woman who does like long hair because it isn't like a lot of these wigs are now becoming so long that they're going past the bust line. And even for young girls, I think that's really, really, really long. I'm not saying it's not age appropriate at all, trust me. But I think that as we do get older, a lot of women don't like really long hair. I think this is a nice compromise. It's long without being too long and it's silky without being Barbie doll, but yet there is a thickness and there is a nice luster with it. Again, this is from Bobby Boss and this is the China wig. I think she's really nice. I may be ordering her in a different color, maybe um, a more caramel color if I can find one. Um, if not, Oh, well, but I still really like this wig because I am a huge fan of longer Bob. So I will be back with another. Stay tuned. Okay, this is Storm. And Storm is by Model Model. Why do I keep getting, okay, there we go. Storm is by Model Model. Shade of this storm is number four. She looks a lot darker on camera. It's really, really weird because in real life, she's she definitely looks lighter. She more she looks more like a true brown. But on camera, for some reason, she looks darker than she is, which is odd. But anyway, storm is goes beyond my favorite wigs of 2018. Storm is one of my favorite wigs of 2017. And the thing about Storm is that I have a special affinity for her because Storm was the first real good budget-friendly wig that I ever purchased. And since then, I've gotten five of her. I have some that I've never worn yet, but they're in there for safekeeping. I love this wig and I think Model Model just blew it out of the park with this. She's very thick, but she's not too thick. She is incredibly dense, but what I like about it is the style. She's kind of like a no style style. Um, she's slightly angled so that it's kind of like bumped under, but she's just very, 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 very subtly layered throughout. So you really can't even see the layers, but she's such a great wig. Like this is years. I am going on my third year with Storm and like I've traveled with her to the south of France. I have worn her in the hottest weather possible and she still remained very, very, very comfortable. Um, there are times when you just find that wig that you want backups and backups and backups of and Storm is that wig. I can safely say that she does retail at around $32 on various wig sites, although I haven't seen her lately. I do wish that Model Model would, um, if, they're, if they're considering discontinuing her, I hope that they don't, but I wish that they did have lighter colors available in this, in this wig. I don't know. She's just, she's just remained one of my favorites. And she's remained one of my favorites throughout the bridge wigs too. I have never felt uncomfortable wearing her because of the combs. I'm able to put the combs in and anchor her beautifully. So on a windy day, there's no problem. She looks, she's a great winter wig because of the denseness, but yet in the summer, you're not gonna feel too hot. I honestly, like I just adore
for this wig. And after washing, she still keeps her style. Um, I will go on record to say, I think this is one of the best budget wigs of all time. So that's it, Storm by Model Model. I hope that they're not discontinuing her. And if they are, man, I hope that I can find an inventory where she's going on deep discount because I will buy, I will buy multiples again of this wig. So I'll be right back. Okay, here is the wig that I paid $20 for last year. I wore her a lot last winter and I'm glad that I'm doing this video because I almost forgot about her. Hold on, I wanna show you something. The site that I got her off of was Heremi, 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 Heremi. I say that three times fast. Um, this is a human and synthetic blend, but uh, I don't know. It just feels really, it feels more synthetic, but it feels good. I don't know what the ratio of human to synthetic is, but I did get a lot of wear out of her last winter. Um, I did have to thin her out some, but that was no problem. The name of this unit is either Ariane or Ariana. I really can't remember, but I like this red. Out of all the reds that I have, and this is even with like the pricier wigs, this is my favorite blend of red. I think it's because it's more to the brown side and it actually, even though it's a warm color, it looks good on a cool um, skin tone. I just powdered this wig and I put a little bit too much powder on it. I'm sorry about that, but it's just that I hadn't worn her in such a long time and the powder that I had on it faded. So I wanted you to get a better look at the part but this is purely for parting space. The parting space is really good. I don't remember tweezing her. I don't think I had to. But then again, this wig was purchased last year at the beginning of last year. I think it might've been purchased at the end of 2007 too, if I'm not sure. But anyway, I like this. This is a nice length. Actually, if you are an older woman and you are thinking of going long, I think this length is very good because again, it's long, but it's not too long. Um, I have to fix the adjustments on the wig cap. I have to make it a little bit smaller, um, but hey, I just wanted you to get a better feel of another budget wig. And how, honestly, you can find a really decent budget wig. For women that say that they can't afford a good wig, $20 will get you this. And I think this is pretty darn good. Um, all you have to do is just add powder. Like I said, I added a little bit too much. I went a little bit crazy with the powder and my apologies for that. But it just takes a little adjusting and just a little time and effort. And the wigs can look just as good as the pricier ones. Hold on and I will be right back. Back with what is one of my all time favorite wigs of 2018. I don't know, I think this might be my favorite. This is April. And this is from Bobby Boss Wigs. You can tell that I'm a fan of Bobby Boss Wigs. Um, off the bat, I'm gonna tell you something right now. My husband can't stand this wig. And he, he can't stand this wig because of the color. He can't stand this ombre thing. And he, he does not like me in this light shade of blonde because he's like, oh my God, he's so, I do not like it because it, it looks, almost like you are wearing gray hair and I do not want you to wear gray hair in front of me. I, I just do not like it. And to that I say, well, you know what? Too bad, I'm wearing it anyway. 
I don't know what it is about this April wig. I have her in um, another color. I can't remember the color, but it's like a brownish color. And I like this one better. I just love the way this wig falls. I don't care if it's a center part. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about center parts. I freaking love this wig. And if I love this wig, I don't care who hates it. I don't care who thinks I look ridiculous in a center part. I don't care who doesn't like this ombre dark roots coming down to the blonde. You know what? I like it. No, I love it. And that's all that matters because this is part of the hair that I wear. And this is budget hair supreme. I want to kiss Bobby. Oh, whoever Bobby boss is, I want to kiss them. But like, not like a mm, passionate kiss. I just want to kiss them and hug them and say, thank you for making such great budget wigs that women can afford. Because they're so, like, they're so friendly in every way. I love the fact that there are combs. I love the fact that Bobby Boss makes a large head friendly cap. And I like that. The caps are comfortable as all get out. The lace is easy to cut. There's nothing that I can't say about this that just isn't, mm, I love it. Like, I love the slight angle of this. I just, you know what? Every once in a while, you just come across a wig, even if it's a budget wig, that you're like, man, I dig this so much. And this is that wig. I swear, I was in the Mac store at King of Prussia Mall, and a woman walked in with the same hair. I was so upset that I didn't have mine on because I would have taken a selfie with her and we would have been twins. Ebony and Ivory twins. It would have been great. But this wig looks so fantastic on everybody. It's amazing. I can't begin to tell you how much I love this wig. And you know what? I think I'm going to wear it Monday to work because I haven't worn her to work in a while. And I just feel really good when I'm wearing this. I don't know what it is. This wig, this wig makes me happy. It really does. I'm not lying to you. I think maybe it's because the price point is so good. And I just love the ombre thing working. And even though I'm not a blonde, I just like the way I look in this. There's nothing about this wig that I don't like. And the parting space is really good. Notice, I didn't put any powder on after what I did with the last wig. It looked kind of crazy with that parting space. But this is just this is just one great wig. And that is it for Bobby Boss April. I will be back with a last wig for this grouping. Okay? Be right back. Hi, I'm back. And I shut the damn selfie light off because it, I don't know. I don't know how people do it. That light was really bothering me. So now I'm in natural kitchen light with the rain. And I kind of like the way the natural lighting looks better. So anyway, this is the last of my budget friendly wigs that were my, among my favorites in 2018. This is Justine. Justine is by the company. It's a wig. I will put down the color because I not to, it's TT something, um, but I will write the color in the link. So if you're interested in this color, you'll be able to know what it is. Anyway, I have four of Justine's. This wig is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll tell you for budget, Wig brand, it's a wig, makes a great, great unit. Now, as you can see, there's some thick hair there, here, but it's not so thick that I had to thin it out. It's just short of being so thick that you have to thin it out. It is a Swiss lace. Um, I like a hard lace better, but so many of these wigs now are Swiss lace. So it does need a little got to be glued when I'm wearing it all day. 
And my thing is, if you are looking this now, at this now, and if you are focusing on any line of demarcation, then you're too close to the screen, move back, okay? Anyway, I love the angles on this. It's a little bit like Storm, but only it's more angled. The hair itself, even though it's thick and it's very dense, is very, very soft. And I like, I do like a style like this because I think it lends itself well to everyday wear. This is a great office wig. I have worn her to the office many, many, many times. I will say the, the only, the only eh about this wig is when I do wear her with heavily textured sweaters or with a very nubby scarf, she will tangle at the ends over here. Um, it's not a deal breaker because at the end of the day, I just take some wig conditioner, I spray the ends down, and then I comb her with a wide tooth comb and she's absolutely fine. But other than that, that's, that's the only issue that I have with this. I kind of wish that It's a Wig would make another model, uh, like maybe Justine 2, and just have the wig come up to here. Just like take all of this extra off and just come up to here. Because I think if this wig was just this length, oh my God, it would be so crazy good. I think it would probably go up there with many, many um, luxury brand wigs. I mean, if this wig just had this part taken off, this would be, a nearly perfect wig. Um, I'm gonna keep this wig on because in my next video, I'm gonna show how to manipulate a wig. And I purchased another one and I'm going to show you how to tweeze the parting space. And I'm going to show you how to thin a wig because I have another wig that was really thick. So that's it. Um, I didn't go into a lot of detail on these budget wigs. I will tell you, don't overlook a please, 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 if you wear a wig, please do not overlook a budget wig. And if you can't afford an expensive wig, I mean, if you can't afford over $100 on a wig, please, there's no reason to have a pity party. So put the ice cream back, put the whipped cream back, put the Hershey's chocolate syrup back because you're not having a pity party. You're gonna go and you're gonna check out the budget wigs and you're gonna look at budget wigs and you're gonna find a great wig or two or three or four. Believe me, it's not about the money. Sure, I'm not gonna lie. There is a difference between a budget wig and a bridge wig and an even higher, higher, higher affordable wig. Um, I'm sure if you spend, if you're lucky enough to spend thousands of dollars on a wig, then you're lucky enough to afford to have it styled and have somebody else take care of it for you so that all you have to do is pop it on your head. Um, that's the 1% and most of us fall in between the bridge wigs and the budget wigs. So I'm really trying to stress this. There is nothing wrong with a budget wig don't think that a budget wig is less than stellar because let me tell you something in the wig community, within the wig community of women who wear wigs, there is a sort of caste system. Some women look down on budget wigs because they think that they're garbage. And you know what? They're not. So if you can't afford a wig that's, let's say, $100 or more, do not feel any worse. Because let me tell you something, I think I paid $24 for this. And this is a great head of hair for $24. I have been stopped in stores by women to ask me where I got my hair colored when I've had this wig on. So I have had even in Ulta, I ended up having a half hour conversation with somebody about the benefits of wigs. 
because she couldn't get over that this was a wig. Granted, I had got to be glued. I manipulated it a little bit more. So it did look very natural. I had some of my natural hair pulled out. So that this definitely did look a lot more natural than it does on camera now. But my point being, there's a wig out there for every single budget and every single woman. And don't ever, ever, don't ever like let anybody think that because you're wearing a budget wig, it doesn't look good because this is proof that budget wigs do look good. And check some of the other um, YouTubers who um, review budget wigs. What they do with these wigs is fantastic. So that's it. That's my rant. I'm going to go off and show you how to tweeze a wig. Bye. If you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down and blah, blah, blah. Please subscribe. It would be really nice if you did. I hate saying that because I feel like I'm putting a cheesy sales pitch on my videos, which I don't want to do because I can't stand that. So that's it. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.